What's going on everybody? It's your boy Philly with Philly Gaming and today we're here talking about organic frigates. Um, it's not going to be a long video, it's going to be a nice short video. Um, I'm just going to touch up on like different things that you can feed them and what happens when you do. Now anybody that's watched my streams from the very beginning knows that I've never really cared about class. So all of my frigates, or almost all of them, were C-class. I was able to find two S-class and one A-class. But I can confirm that they do upgrade when you send them out on fleet missions. As you can see, now I have six S-class, three A-class, and three B-class. The rest are still upgrading, so I'm still working on them. The more you send them out, the more they'll upgrade. And they, they upgrade pretty quick. I mean, it doesn't take very long to upgrade them. It just takes like three or four missions. Or no, like I want to say like five or six missions and they'll upgrade in class. Now, when it comes to feeding them, I do have a whole bunch of foods prepared. And the reason is that's because there's no real formula as to... Um, uh, when it comes to feeding them. And what I mean by that is... This, let's say you fed them some of these. That's not going to increase one specific trait for all of them. It's for it, You got to remember this game is procedurally generated. So it's going to be different for each one. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. I don't know if that's even something that we can feed them. Um, okay, it is. Alright, so let me move this to my regular inventory real quick. And I will show you what i mean so i don't think i even have to let's see if i fed this guy one of these okay so right now it's at 30 combat and the rest is kind of like garbage now the rest is garbage now everything is garbage except industrial so all that did was change industrial on this one on this um frigate so if I go to this one and I feed it the same exact thing, you see, now it's exploration. So that's what I mean. Feeding the same thing to do to two different frigates is not going to improve the same trait. On the same note, feeding them complex items doesn't always increase everything. Sometimes you might get lucky and it will. So this one was, um, I mean, it was all right. It improved trade, but there are times, I mean, you got to experiment and see what works because there are times where you might feed it something complex and it just drops everything drastically. Um, so just because you got to remember, just because something takes like three, four or five steps to make it doesn't mean it's going to give you this insane boost. Uh, it, it's random. It's random for everything. You just got to play around and see what's what, see what works, see what doesn't. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Now, also, the traits from what I've seen, they don't revert back until you feed it something else. So it'll go out on mission, and when it comes back, I've noticed, at least on mine, that the traits stay the same until you change them until you feed it and change it into something else so basically gone are the days where you're hunting for um an, a, a vessel that's for combat and a vessel for exploration and one for trade it, it doesn't matter what the traits are to any of these and it doesn't matter about the class either i preferred c class because i mean they were all very vibrant looking. I mean, as you could see, there's red. They're, they're all different colors in my fleet because I found them in C-Class and I upgraded them, which is my recommendation to you. I mean, I enjoyed doing that anyway. I like putting in the work for these guys to, to upgrade them. It's more satisfying for me. Plus, the, the S-Classes that I found, they didn't really look good. I mean, this was the one that... This is the Leviathan... This one, I the, see, this is one that I found. Look at how ugly that looks. It looks like a giant tick, in my personal opinion. 
Let's see if I found this one I found as a B class and I upgraded it to an S class. That's a green one. That's a very cool looking one. This one I found as a C class and upgraded it to an S class. And this one, this is the other one that I found as an S class. But you see there no colors at all. The colors I found mainly are in the C class. So that one wasn't all, that that was all right. See, here you go. This one has more vibrant colors. So I mean, go out and, and hunt them down and enjoy them. And don't be discouraged just because you find a C class and it looks really cool. For example, this one, this is my favorite one. I can't wait to upgrade this one to an S class. Um, I haven't really sent it out on any missions. I need to start doing that with this one. But, I mean, look at that. It's it's orange, red, pink. It has some purple in it. When you get up close, some green. They're very fun to look at. And this, feeding them, that's just one more thing that we get to do in No Man's Sky. And later this week, I will make another video with the help of one of my friends who is really good with cooking. So she'll be in the video with me and she'll help us and give us some recipes on um, how to make some of these things. Also, you might want to download the Assistant to No Man's Sky app. That has a whole bunch of recipes and that's where I got a lot of these from. That'll definitely help you out. But don't go too crazy with it because like I said, just because you spent like 30 or 45 minutes... Uh, coming up with this one crazy recipe doesn't mean it's going to give your ship this crazy insane boost so i know this one was pretty hard to come up with let's see what this does that was actually pretty good for that ship but Again, it's 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 random every time, so it's a hit or miss. Now, typically, they will give a good boost. So, like this one, it gave it a really good boost. But there are times where you might think it's going to give it an insane boost, and it just drops everything, like all the stats way down to almost nothing. And you're like, wait, what just happened to my ship? So, like I said, you just got to kind of play around with it see like this one i had fed this guy um this chocolate thing and it, it, it the stats used to be really up there like it was like 20 26 25 and 24 i fed it this chocolate and it dropped the stats all the way down so let's see if i feed it this you see it didn't do anything for the ship so the other ones it increased them dramatically but for this one it didn't do anything Let's see if we feed it sugar. So you see, sugar was more beneficial for this ship. And sugar is very easy to come by. So you just got to play around and see what works and see what doesn't. So until the next time, guys, I appreciate you for tuning in. If this video did help you out in any way, if this is the first time you heard this anywhere... It would really help me out if you liked and subscribed to my video so I can make more videos for you guys. So again, until the next time, um, stay, <clears throat> stay safe and happy hunting.